Candy bracelets originated in the early 1990s. The first people to make and wear candy bracelets were dealers who wore them to raves so that customers could find them. Since most people put their hands up during raves, brightly colored bracelets could easily be seen. Dealers hid small pills in the beads of bracelets to avoid getting trouble for handing out LSD and ecstasy. Over time, the association between candy bracelets and drug dealers had disappeared. Instead, candy bracelets became an essential accessory for rave goers. Attendees started making their own candy bracelets, not just in single strands, but also in more complex patterns and with a mix of color and lettered beads. Rave goers traded their homemade candy bracelets, sometimes as a mark of friendship or plur, which stands for peace, love, unity, and respect. There is a special four-part plur handshake, ending in the two people's hands being intertwined so they can share a bracelet and then hug. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them. To make an X cup, you will need scissors, stretchy string, and pony beads. You will need to cut at least three feet of your stretchy string, depending on how tall you want your bracelet to be. First, you add 30 beads to one side of your string, then tie it off using a square knot, a surgical knot, and another square knot. The average wrist is 30 beads. If your wrist is a different size, just add or take away three beads. Make sure every third bead is a different color. So, this is a demonstration on how to tie uh, the knots I have showed you in the first step. First knot you'll need to know how to tie. Is the, is the square knot. So, square knot is just how you tie your shoes. Take both ends of string and you're going to make an X. That right there. You're going to put the, the other, one of the ends of string to it. And you're going to pull square knot, a surgical knot, it's an X, it's just a square knot, but after you do the square knot, you're going to put the string through three more times, like that, yeah, make sure there's four bumps, then you pull, and it makes a nice tight compact knot for when you are dealing with a stretchy string. Now put the long end of your string in one of the purple beads, connector beads, then add one green bead, one purple bead, and another green bead. Then pull the string tightly through the next purple bead and repeat all the way around. By now, your bracelet should look like the picture. Guide your string through the green bead beside it and then the purple bead above, then repeat step two. By now, your bracelet should look like the picture. If you like, you can repeat step two as many times as you want. Now, pull your string through the top purple bead beside your string and add two red beads. Then pull the string into the next purple bead and repeat all the way around. After you're done that, tie it off with a surgical knot and a square knot and enjoy your new candy cuff.